Andrew, what brings you here today? Well, we're here today because it's just great to get on the ground in Christchurch and talk to staff and talk to people in the community about how they're feeling and how the rebuilding program's going. And obviously uh, today I'm here with Cameron Klein. He, as our group CEO, is very interested in understanding it and supporting us as well. So it's great to have him here. Well, I was really keen to get down to Christchurch. I mean, obviously there's been an enormous amount of interest in what's happened here. And not just obviously from staff around New Zealand, but a lot of staff in Australia and the UK. We've obviously got a lot of Kiwis uh, who are working in uh, both National Australia Bank and in Clydesdale. And they've been really interested and concerned about what's happened here. And I want to really get here and have, a, I guess, a, a first-hand look. And what's the role of a bank in a crisis like this? Well, I think unfortunately we've had that tested a lot in the last couple of years. It started with uh, the bushfires in Victoria a couple of years ago, obviously the earthquake in September here and then in February and then the, the floods and the cyclones we've had in Queensland. So I guess the bank has had a real opportunity to test what its role is. I think its role evolves. The first role we've got is almost a frontline one. Yeah, we're a big employer but a big connector within the community. We have branches right throughout the area so we play a key role in Really, are our staff safe, are our customers safe, can we connect people with their friends and family and can we provide some basic initial service to people, can we actually help them get through that initial critical 48 hours, it might be access to cash or other basic services. I then think the role starts to evolve um, because what we're going to see here, um, as, you, as we've had the opportunity to drive around today but also in those other locations I mentioned, is a massive rebuilding. Businesses need to get back on their feet, they're going to need working capital to start their businesses again, they're going to need construction finance, they're going to need a whole range of things. And a bank really has a role to rebuild. Um, and, you know, unfortunately these incidents, if you go back to the history of BNZ, 150 years, uh, 153 years for NAB in Australia and even longer in the UK, we've had to rebuild through a whole range of natural disasters and, and obviously we'll be here to do it again. How do you rate BNZ's um, response to this particular disaster? Oh, I think BNZ's response has been extraordinary. I think they've been very quickly out there contacting their customers. I was talking to bankers today in Rickerton and in Sydenham. You know, often they're now on their third and fourth meeting with a customer to say, what more can we do? You know, how can we support you with the relief packages? They were very quick to, to reassure them. Uh, the community response has been extraordinary, the way they've you know, got themselves back out to business, they've pulled together, they've raised funds, they've helped people connect. Until you actually see it with your own eyes, I mean, you get the, the images that you see on the newspapers and the TV, it's really quite, it's uh, quite confronting, just the extent of damage. And I think the thing that really uh, brings it home to me, having had the opportunity to go around here today, is there is years of rebuilding. And so what it'll take from us at BNZ, but also the broader National Australia group is, we need to be there right through those years in supporting the rebuild of Christchurch.